I'm not a human being, and I came up from nothing. Just imagine that. I'm gonna let him see you again, man. But yo, this is my theme song. Day. I lost day one. Just imagine that. You're feeling like it's all on me. Soon as they fall, they gon' call on me. I remember when I used to be tall on me. Soon as they fall, they gon' call on me. These days, now I got it all. Just imagine that. Like, I don't think when it went nothing with us. Nah, it's time Like, people we thought that would be there to the very end. I mean, we've had... When we went to prison, my uncle took everything from us. Everything that we had just bought and put in a, a house, he took it all. Hell, I'm thinking he, he even took the uh, uh, thermometer, thermostat things. Remember when she asked about that? Yeah. <laughs> like... Hey, swear he even took the thermostat, y'all. Um, it's Kevin Gates. Imagine that. Um, it just so, something about that song when he says like they're gonna call on you when they fall. It's the truth. It, but it's the same people that used to talk about you. It, on everything I love, it's the truth. The same motherfuckers that don't fuck with you, when you get up, they the first ones to have their hands out. They're the first ones to say, but because, can you help me out? But but come on, bro, can you help me out? And, and I'm not talking about people, like, th this is just facts. Everything I'm saying right now is cold hard facts. Um, a lot of you might not know, but I had an aunt for when we first decided that we were going to retire 
like she was angry like why would you do that you need to go get a real job and I can't believe you're just gonna throw your life away like that you already been to prison and blah 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 okay like I heard that shit for what until grandpa was saying it too yeah y'all just need to get a job Y'all just need to get a job and Even work hard and, and and work hard and everything will come to you. That's a fucking lie. And if people are telling you that, swear to God, drop them. There are so many people. I love my grandpa. I still talk to him this day. But if he gets to speak in negative, like my grandpa is a firm believer that pit bulls are the most aggressive dog in the world. And... We have two pit bulls. We have our little mini pit bull, Belle, and we have Bruiser. He, uh, I'll tell y'all a story about Belle in a second. But then we have Bruiser. He's a rescue puppy that we rescued when we were in Texas. He came to us. He was about three months old. Um, our dog had just got hit by a car. The kids were devastated, and this little puppy just followed the girls home. And we, we broke down and we let, let me just hurry up and get outside. So I threw a robe on real quick. I didn't even have the thing to tie it up. And Bella takes off. Okay, sorry guys. Technical difficulties. But anyway, you guys, so Bella takes off. Like I said, I'm in a robe. I don't have the tie. So I'm out trying to hold this robe together chasing this damn little puppy every time I get close to her she'd run fast and run right past me oh man y'all it was terrible so yeah that was the start of my morning um and then she literally um then she came in the room, like once we got her back in the house, she came in the room and uh, I wonder if he clocked me. Yep, he definitely clocked me. He's coming out. What? Shit. Well, I might be getting pulled over, guys, so. He has a turn signal on. Yeah, that's what it is. I didn't realize I was speeding. I was only going 70. 65 oh well anyway so she comes in and Belle likes cookies Belle likes any food honestly but she loves cookies and we Rashad always keeps cookies in the room um she, she loves some, she eats some of mine this morning the chocolate chip ones yeah is that what she was munching on is that what the Bro. Yeah, I gave them to her. Oh, you gave them to her? Yeah. Oh, I thought she took them. No, I gave them to her. Oh, I was about to strangle her. No, you weren't. <laughs> hey, but for real, guys, I was like, bitch, no, this morning. I was like, don't do it. And then Rashad came out running his boxers. Vicky, Vicky. I'm like, oh, my God. If this is... I know people probably don't believe us when we tell some of the stories that happen to us on a daily freaking basis. But y'all, I can't make this shit up. I really can't. Um, but we literally just, we are a hot ass mess family. We really are. Ray called us last night and he's like, I keep hearing noises <laughs> and Bruce are standing at the top of the stairs. I think somebody's down there. I'm like, oh my God. He's like, can you check the cameras? So Rashad's checking the cameras. He's like, Ray, there's nothing down there. Ray was just like, are you sure? Like, yeah, bro. Chill out. Like, we oh, literally, you guys, we have so much fun. And we're the parents, like, of course, we live, uplift our children. But we also clown. We clown hard. Because I feel like if they're going to go to school and get clowned, they're going to have comebacks for days. Yeah, because hey hey we all clown like we're just that family like if we go into a store we're loud we're a hot ass mess like and most people would be embarrassed to go with us because we just we say whatever we want um Rashad says I'm stealing every time we walk in a store um Walmart employees finally got the hint like 
we should probably just leave him alone because he's a fucking nutcase. Just now, now's the time when I strike. I've, but but for real though, they'll be like, oh, how much did you get this time, sir? That's the one guy. You know what I'm talking about? Glasses. Yeah. He he started saying, well, how much did you get today, sir? Oh my gosh, you guys like we are clowns. We can't be serious for too long. Um, We're not going to talk about that. So we went this morning to get the linoleum for the floor um, in the dining room. Because we want everything to just really flow. And the guy, he was when he was rolling the vinyl up, he said you need to go get a one by something board. And you need to put it in there because if not, it's going to bend and blah, 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 right? So Rashad puts the board in there and Rashad didn't pay for the board. And we didn't realize it until about 20 minutes ago he was, was like there. oh shit man i didn't pay for that board so we'll probably hey finders keepers, finders keepers. shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> we're we don't steal guys i pro uh, we don't she don't he don't either he's a scary ass um but anyway i know i've gotten so off track but we have a blast guys we really do and most people, like, we're a lot to handle. So we're not for everybody. And that's okay. We're a very strong, opinionated family. Like, I say what I want. Huh? You still have green on Bro, I still have green all over me. I found freaking... I took a shower yesterday, and I still found vinyl glue on my arm. I couldn't figure out how... Oh, I thought that was our car. I was like, oh my god, is it going to die? Brand new, so <laughs> um, but I found vinyl glue all up and down my arm. I'm like, and nobody told me. Like somebody could have been like, "Hey, bro, you're looking a little funny right there in your arm. What's you going on?" I feel like, like, I feel like I wish people would just others. tell me, because at the end of the day, like, if I smell, tell me, because I maybe I don't know, you know, oh, yeah, like. You never know. So, I always, if I see something in your teeth, I'm going to be the person like, hey, you got some stuff in your teeth, bro. And then we'll make a big ass joke out of it. Because that's just what we do. But anyway, back to the origin of this video. I got everywhere. Um, but as most of you know, me and my husband have been together for going on 10 years. Um, Damn, it has been, it has been. God, yeah. Um, all, almost 10 years. March 28th of 21, it'll be 10 years. So... Each day I don't like him either. It's alright, though. Bet, bet if something happens, I'm the first one he calls. And I'm, bet to, I'm the only one that's there. So, anyway, we ain't gonna talk about that. We have literally survived so much stuff. But I want to get into, like, from a woman's perspective and a man's perspective. Um, because we all have different perspectives. But, you know, it's different coming from a man and coming from a woman from a relationship. But I know the most important thing for me in our relationship is making a choice. I don't love him every day. Some days I want to fucking kill him, put him under my shed, and go drink coffee and talk to him every morning. I, I literally tell him that all the time. And I mean it, like, one day he really might end up under the shed. It just depends. That's a lot of digging. I mean, it, it, just, it literally just depends on what life decisions I've made at that point, right? But honest to God, you guys, it's all about decisions. So... I mean, if you're in an abusive relationship, you should probably run. Um, but other than that, like, if it's just problems, like, I can't stand how he eats chips. Drives me fucking nuts. Um, I don't know why. It just really does. But I've also learned that I love him more than I hate him eating chips. So when he's eating chips, I'm like, oh, I want to fucking strangle you, but... I make the decision to not leave. You see what I'm saying? 
every day we make a decision. Um, we still have our problems, guys. It's the reality. We still I fight. We still argue. We don't like each other 98% of the time. But at the end of the day, we make a decision every single day to stay. And that's the biggest thing in a relationship for me. We make that decision to stay because there have been many times that he could have walked out. There have been many times that I could have walked out and we could have said, fuck it all. Fuck it. Throw that shit down the drain. I'm done. I'm over. It's uh, no, it's a wrap. But instead we choose not to. Um, even when we're so pissed off, like a couple of weeks ago, we had an argument over the dumbest shit ever. And like, he was like, I'm going to leave for the night. And I'm like, I wish you would. If you walk out that door and you don't come home tonight, don't come home at all. Pack your fucking bags and get out now. That, that was my exact words. And he's like, oh, so you just want me to sit here and stew? Well, then that's fine. Fuck it. I'll just sit here and stew. <laughs> and we didn't talk for what, like 18 hours? Oh, my God. We didn't talk for 18 hours. But he knew that I was serious if he left. He needed to pack his bags and go. I, I wasn't leave. playing that. I did leave. You didn't leave for the night. No, you were on that couch. No, I actually I slept on the floor. Oh yeah, he he waited till I went to sleep and he snuck up and slept on the I floor next to the bed. I was watching TV. <laughs> I just didn't want to sleep next to your stank ass. Yeah. You guys, if he would have left that day, it probably would have ended our marriage. But he made a decision because he knew like he knows what we're building. He knows that he does love me. He knows that I love him. We have our attitudes. We have our problems. We have our fights. But at the end of the day, no matter what happens, I'm always going to be in his corner. No, and I stayed because daddy's checking account was low at the time. <laughs> oh, because oh, his checking account was low. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you guys, it's all about a decision because at the end of the day... And we don't get on Facebook and, like, tell everybody, oh, fuck that bitch. And I used to do that in the beginning of a relationship. And then I realized, like, you're just going to go right back to him. What in the fuck is the point? Like, we don't air our dirty laundry. If I have a problem with him, I tell him. I don't tell Facebook. Does that make sense? But, you guys, like, this is something that I know could potentially help a lot of people that is a nice boat nice a I'm lot of people don't realize that if you just make small baby steps and small changes you don't have to give up the entire relationship you really don't relationships are all work they're fucking work it's constantly work. It's constantly changing. It's, like it's constant. It's like yeah, it is like Facebook's algorithm. Every, I mean, it changes more than our son changes his underwear. Wait, wait, that's not a good person because that boy don't take showers. That's all. That boy stink right now. <laughs> Bro, y'all, we have to get on him. He is a hot mess. Make him get a shower. But at the end of the day, like. We make a cold-hearted decision, or a cold-hearted, we make a whole-hearted decision every single day to stay together. It's a choice. Just because you don't like somebody, just because you don't love them at that very moment, doesn't mean you walk out. You have to fix it. Rashad, I feel for him because I'm the most stubborn hard-headed asshole that I know. I really am. So am I. And he's stubborn and hard-headed too, but he deals with me. Like, and I don't know how, because sometimes I would have been like, you know what? Keep your stank-ass attitude here. I'm out. Deuces. But he doesn't. Instead, he worked with me for seven freaking years telling Whoa. me shit. Like, it's turning yellow. What do you want Did me you to have do? To stomp on the brakes like that? I didn't stomp on the brakes. Shut your face. I gotta find my soul somewhere. Oh my god. But you guys, um, 
literally, it's a choice. You choose to either fix it or to say it's unfixable. You get to choose that. Nobody else. That's on you. And it's sad <laughs> that, like, I've seen so many people walk out on people they love because of something so minute that they could have just talked it out. And I don't know if you guys know this, but we go to couples counseling. I'm okay with that. I don't care if anybody knows. Terry's the shit. We love her. We haven't been there in a little bit, but, uh, I'm gonna miss Terry. listen, we, we be telling Terry all kinds of stuff. We don't care. Like if we can get a non-biased opinion and it'll help our marriage, then why not? I want to see a him at his very best and he wants to see me at mine. There, there's a difference between constructive criticism and just being an asshole. And sometimes I'm an asshole to him when I tell him stuff. Like, he's like, bro, you can tell me in a way different manner. Like, come the fuck on. I'll be like, you're probably right. Or sometimes I'll be like, man, shut up. You know, wait till, you know wait, listen to you. That's what you say most of the time. Th this, is, this is like... This is real relationship shit from us. Like, we are not perfect. We're not. We're not trying to be perfect. We're just trying to be better than we were yesterday. But at the end of the day, you guys have to remember that perfection will never happen. You will never find perfection. You won't. I don't give a fuck. You could get one of these stars, celebrities, whatever. And you're not going to find perfection. You're just not. Stop looking for perfection. There's three things for me. Loyalty, love, and how he treats me. He does great at all three of them things. I know he'll be loyal to the very end. I know he loves me most likely more than himself sometimes. And I also know that if it comes down to it, he's going through hell or high water for me. And he treats me like a queen, even when I'm not nice. So if a man can do that, he's a keeper. That doesn't mean you just walk out because he has some flaws. He likes to play the video games. It drives me nuts. And he likes to watch sci-fi shows. I love that shit. Boy. Man, he likes watching like Star Wars and stuff. And some what? of you might hate me for this. I don't want to watch that shit. But I love him. So I'm not going to leave him over something stupid like, like that. Star Wars. How could you not? That's like, just, what? Who are you? Like Star I, I mean, can see maybe Star Trek. If you said that, we've we've literally went through the ringer. We've went through infidelities. We've went through times where mm -hmm. we were so broke. What's wrong? My experience. Wow. Oh. Um. We've went through times where we lost everything. We've went through those times, but we had each other's back during those times. And that's the difference. That and we made the choice to make it work. You guys, you have, if you really want a relationship to work, and like I said, I'm not talking, if he's beating your ass, leave. Um, it might take you seven years. It took me seven years. That's okay. But at the end of the day, so what we did, we made a pros and cons list. Do you remember that? That was in November of 17 when we almost got a divorce. We were literally about to get a divorce. And we seen on, what was that? Something marriage too. Do you remember what I, I'm talking about? I can't. It's the Tyler Perry movie. And um, she was like, make a pros and cons list. So we were like, huh, maybe if we make a pros and cons list, that'll work. So we made a pros and cons list. The pros outweighed the cons by a lot. So now we make it work. One way or another, we make it work. If we don't like each other for a day, he'll sit upstairs and I'll sit downstairs. I will have to talk to you when you're ready to be nice. When I'm ready to be nice, then we'll talk. Like, sometimes you need that space. But we also work as a team. We, it, it's, 
nothing is just mine nothing is just his we talk shit and say it is but at the end of the day it's ours you're a team fucking act like it when we were selling drugs we were a team we were Trish and Billy <laughs> oh my god do you remember that <laughs> oh my gosh that was the most white people names we could think of and then come to find out there was really a Trish and Billy down there that were together um, but anyway so you have to work as a team you guys you can't think that if you're pulling this way and he's pulling this way it's never gonna work you're gonna bump heads bump heads bump heads and at the end of the day you're gonna end up giving up you have to work together me and him when we're in the car if I'm not doing videos um, usually we're talking about setting goals. Like, what do we want? Where do we want to go? What do we want to do? What do we want in the bank account in 10 years? Like, we work as a team. We work on our goals as a team. He has separate goals, but at the end of the day, we're working on them goals as a team. I hold him accountable and he holds me accountable. And it works. Like, I found my freaking soulmate, and I'm so lucky that I did. And he's going to sleep, and I'm going to throat no, chop I'm not him. Sleep. He does it all the time. But this is us, 24-7. We talk mad shit, but we have so much fun, you guys. And when we're not having fun, you have to remember, like, there are going to be days that are fucking shit. There are. There are going to be days that your head over heels and love and just want to hold him all day you're gonna have days that you just want to cuddle you're gonna have days that you want to beat him with a shovel you're gonna have those days but like you said it's all about making that choice i can't make a choice for anybody but me and also you guys stop thinking your significant other can make you happy they can't your your happiness is on you it, it took me a long time to realize that. When I realized that my happiness was on me and it wasn't on Rashad, that changed the game for us. But I'm going to hand him the, hand him the rain. Can you see yourself? Yeah. Well, I can't see you. What do you want me to talk about? A man's perspective on, re on marriage and relationships. A man's perspective on marriage and relationships. Why do you think, like, how do you make it work, even when you don't want to sometimes? Um, you're loyal. Well, yeah, she's loyal for one. Um, loyalty is one of those things that are now a rarity. Um, it's one of those things that you can't buy. You can't just ascertain any other way. <laughs> uh, it just, it can't, it can't be. It's, it's like finding a rare gem. What's one of the rare gems? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Rare gem or something like that. Um, but along along with that, like you have to match the loyalty. Like you have to be willing to be loyal. Like there's plenty of times I could have went out and fucked around. And, you know, whatever. Got my dick sucked. I don't know. what You know what men do, you know. But I just chose not to because I'd rather choose to be in this relationship. Because how do I know that this other chick is going to be loyal? How do I know she's clean? I don't know if she's about her business. I don't know if she ain't gonna set me up. It's just it's too many what ifs for me to try to for me to like mess up a good thing. Like like I say, I have thoughts all the time. But the difference is for me, I don't act on them. And we talk about these thoughts. Yeah, I tell her all the time. I'll, I tell her, I tell her like, man, blah 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 blah. I was thinking about this. Like I tell her like I don't have no problem with that. When We're we open to, and when, honest. When she, we went to prison, she asked me to be honest, and so she gets a full dose of honesty. Sometimes she, sometimes I think it's a little too much for her to handle. She's like, oh my god, I'd be like, well, you asked me to be honest, so if you can't take it, then you know I can tell a little fifty fib or something like that. Nah, I wouldn't want it that way. But for me, uh, I don't know, man. Um, Honestly, was going to sleep. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, y'all. I, I asked here. you to do this video. I was you, over you here dozing yes. off. I didn't know she was going to hand it to me. She kept talking. She was being a chatty Kathy. So I figured I was like, I'm going to go ahead and catch my cut real quick. 
<laughs> she put me on the spot like, no, but seriously, like, I, I want to make it work. Like, there are times I'll be like, man, fuck that bitch. Like, I'm gonna go, I'm about to go slap the fuck out of her. She done pissed me off. Who the fuck does she think she talking to? Me? But I know at the end of the day, is, is any of it gonna be worth it? What is it gonna solve? Nothing. Cause more problems. Probably go to jail. Who wants to go to jail? I, I don't. Not again. Fuck that. <laughs> we cool. over that life. Because <laughs> all that's going to happen, I'm like, hey, can you, uh, can you put money on the phone? I need, I need you to put some money on this phone. Why did you come up here and put some money on my books? And that's just taken away because then it's only going to be her. So then she's got to tap into my funds or whatever. Like, it's just it's just not worth it. We're man. not building together that yeah. way. And we're not building together. It's, it's just it's just not worth it. And I want to, we're building something together. I want to build, like, I want to build on top of what we've already built. Like, the progress we've made in the past, hell, just the past six months alone is astounding. Like, I, I can't even believe it. Like, I can't even believe, like, we're both on track to make six figures plus. Six figures plus. Like, I have made six figures. She has made six figures. I'm almost there. Like, it's... It's crazy. You're like, you're like literally twenty percent away. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm almost there. I'm at like eighty eighty something like eighty something k or whatever the hell it is. Like we're almost there. Like and I can see it. Like I can actually see it. Like because I I I can see it. Like when I look around the house. Well, not now because it's a hot ass mess. I'm not gonna lie. Look like we living in the trap. Yeah, it look, like, it look, it look, well, trap looks better than this. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Um, but I can see it. Like I can see like the furniture we just the furniture I, we paid for it in cash. Uh, the entertainment wall paid for in cash. The TV paid for in cash. We just um, we're going to pay we're going to pay um, for our bedroom suit and what's the other thing we got? Uh, table and chairs. And well, a, and a, and it's a, a table and a bench set. It's the well, it's the table and a bench set. It's like the table is real. It's a real marble slab. Um, it's got like this deep sea not deep sea blue, but it's it's a deep blue. It's like a deep, rich blue. The seats are, it's, it's nice. Um, we're going we're gonna to go buy, pay for that in cash. So, I mean, I just, I want to make it work, man. I want to build. I want more. And not every, not, every, not everybody is about that. A lot of people are really, really fucking selfish. Like, or lazy. Or lazy. Or lazy and selfish. Like, how are you going to be lazy and selfish? Like, to be selfish, like, you can't be lazy. <laughs> that shit, what? <laughs> You selfish, but you lazy. How? Who, who, where they do that at? How's that work out? Man, I'm telling you. But listen, if they if it don't match your hustle, it's hard. Yeah, like it's just, and I don't. I, like I said, I just I just don't want to be. I don't. I don't want to have to start all over. Nobody wants to fucking start all over. Not not ten years deep, and like, and then I got to start with somebody else. And like I said, I don't know what they're about. I don't know what they're capable of. None of that. Like I got to relearn all that. No. He knows I'm capable of stabbing him. That's no. okay with him. Why are we at Walmart? I'm going to park down here for a second. Oh, yeah, I just, I just, no, I, yeah, yeah. Here. The perfect, there, the perfect relationship is there is no perfect relationship. <laughs> there really isn't. Contrary to what anybody says, the word, the word perfect shouldn't even exist. In my vocabulary, it shouldn't even exist because perfect means like flawless, flawless like impeccable. I mean, well, well, I take the back. Maybe like diamonds or something like that. But even Simon Lewis all have but minor people flaws. are yeah. not. Yeah, but like, is it people? Yeah. It's... I'm going to give you time to talk oh, go to ahead. them for a second. I want to make this work. And is it hard? Fuck yes. It is very much hard. When you have somebody who's just as stubborn, hard-headed. Oh, what else can I say? Um, stubborn, hard-headed. And... God, we when you butt head sometimes and it's just like sometimes your attitudes are the same it's like it's really hard sometimes um yeah there is no perfect relationship maybe it's perfect for you but there is no perfect relationship does that make sense like and another thing that changes i stopped putting expectations on her um I used to expect her to do certain things and when it wouldn't happen it was like a letdown and it let me down and I would get an attitude and I'd be like man fuck you and all this other stuff and I learned going through Terry or uh what's that what's what's her title um oh, I can't think of it uh therapist counselor marriage counselor oh that's a nice that's a nice colors sorry she tapped on the window I see um 
Y'all learned that through Terry that you can't put expectations on a relationship, in a relationship. That's a fucking money. It's a 78. Oh my God. Sorry, she's a, she's fascinated with my older Monte Carlos. Um, so yeah, I stopped putting expectations expectations on a, in in and on a relationship so if you put expectations on people then that can be grounds for catastrophe um what i would suggest is talk to them let them know like hey i would like it if you did this i would prefer it if you did this because then it takes out the part where it seems so demanding because expectations sometimes let's face it they're they seem demanding like i ex you have sex with me every night i expect to have dinner on the table every day at 5 30 i expect for you, you do? to do blah 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 no i'm gonna say you do so expect does that you know, you understand what i'm saying expectations can sound <coughs> demanding and sometimes when you make sometimes when you make demands what do they sound like aggressive like like i expect you to da, 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 da. sometimes it's not what you say is how you say it so expectations don't have them in a relationship very very no way no um and from and like from my point of view like for for me for men i think it's just men aren't men are it's supposed to be widely known or a stigma or whatever it is a stereotype that we don't express our feelings that is further thing from the contrary men really do ex men really do express their feelings it's actually healthy to express your feelings people know this i don't know why but it's a stigma i express my feelings to her all the time um, I'm the one that's not as sensitive. She, yeah, she's not. I'll, I'll tell her, I'll be like, man, I feel like this, or uh, man, you did this, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not liking it. Like, I'm very verbal. I'm, I'm not confrontational with it. Sometimes it sounds like that. I can be aggravated, and sometimes my agitation sounds watching because he is not paying attention, you asshole. Sorry, 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 sorry. We've been, we have road rage. Sorry, we, we've been in like three major car accidents and when people do dumb shit like that it, it really really irks my nerves as my grandmother would say uh people i swear i would like to snatch him out of his car anyways that's the old me um <laughs> hello man uh what was i saying what was i just saying we were me. talking about expectations oh expect yeah no expectations no bueno um Oh, and, and sensitivity. Oh yeah, sensitivity. Oh yeah. See, dude got me all off track, man. Got me on my element. Um, it's Love very, it. it's, it's healthy for both parties to express how they feel. Um, sometimes you have to do it oh, as a in a more neutral setting. Like sometimes it's not good to do it at home. I don't know why. It just sometimes because in the bedroom, if sometimes it may feel more more the man's territory or in the living you know what i mean try to do it in neutral territory like outside on the porch um don't be loud with it and just air your grievances out or maybe you can do it through facetime or if you have to text so that way that way write you're at least letter. getting it out we'll write a letter you're at least getting it out um it took us a while to get there but we eventually we eventually got there so as a man expressing and airing out your grievances is definitely a must because of not how is she supposed to know and you have to listen. Yeah, like, got definitely definitely have to listen. Not hear, but listen. A lot of people hear, but don't listen. Like, I could break it down to y'all, like, what hearing and listening is. So she hates it all the time. She's like, I'm listening. I'm like, no, the fuck you're not. You hear me, but you ain't listening. <laughs> I'm like, you, you want to break it down? She's like, I hate you. Oh, my god. And I just smile. <laughs> no, but, but seriously, but relationships are hard, y'all. Like, if it's worth it, it's hard. As the old proverb goes, nothing eat, nothing worth um, obtaining is going to be whatever it is. Nothing worth having is, is going to be going to be easy. Come easy, like not at all. If you want a good relationship, not a not a perfect relationship, but if you want a great relationship, a stable relationship, it's not going to be easy. You have to work on it all the time because as you grow older, your your things change, like your taste buds. She change. is getting it. Who? That chick. You see her? She oh. is getting it. Oh yeah, she. What does that say? Puppies. Oh. <coughs> um. Anyways, but as you grow, as y'all grow older, like your taste buds change, some things change. So you have to re-familiarize, I guess, re-familiarize yourself with each other and even yourself. Because I've grown older now, like some things I just like, no, nah, I'm I'm not down with that no more. I'm I'm cool. I don't I don't want that, or it's not my cup of tea. Like it just changes. And like that's fine, and that's cool. So, 
and there's some things that we have to agree to disagree on because we can't there's a lot of things we there's a lot of things oh yes so a lot of things in a relationship you're not going to see eye to eye on at all not at all <laughs> and so you just have you have to agree to disagree because if not all it's going to do is cause an argument because you see things i see things one way she thinks see things another way and we've learned it's all that about it, perception yeah, it, we learned things can be very heated so we just like you know what agree to disagree and then you that kills the and, conversation and you can always come back to it at a later time when it's less um frustrating yeah. or there's less frustration or there's less tension Oh, and another thing that I've learned is never, never, never speak in anger. Like, if no. you're enraged, like, if you have complete ire, if you're mad and you're upset, like, just Don't walk speak. away. I, one thing I've learned is it's just easier, it's just much better if you walk away. I know sometimes, like, We used stupid. to spew really mean oh, shit. Oh, man, yeah. It, it used to get really, really bad. Like, it, 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 it's not worth it because you're going to regret it. And then one person's going to be upset. The other one's going to be gonna mad. Feel some type of feel way. Feel some type of way. Like, it's, it's just not worth it. It's best to keep your mouth shut. I know it's going to be, I know it's going to make you really feel, feel really good. Like, you stupid motherfucker, man. I hate you. You can't do shit. You good for nothing, punk motherfucker. Like, I know that. I know it's going to feel good <laughs> for them 10 seconds. Like, yeah, I showed this bitch ass. But then afterwards, you're going to be like, damn. Because then, he then he's going to be thinking like, oh, this bitch think she what? Are you stupid ass bits? Blah, 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 blah. Like you see what I'm saying? Like and then the it cycle, like it just keeps going. So it's it's just better just to walk away. Even if you know you're right, there's been times when I know I'm right. I'm like, all right, whatever. I just have to walk away, and then, then she'll come back hours later. She's like, hey, you're right. You're right. I'll be like, and I hate apologizing, you guys. I'm the worst apologizer in the world. And me, I rub it in like, really? So what did we learn? <laughs> This is our relationship, though. Well, this, this is, is how we work. Like, for 10 years, after 10 years, you just... You, you have realize, to make stuff funny. Yeah, but you have to deal with stuff in a different way. You have to be you can't creative. can't always be serious. Yes, yeah, like you... And, oh, you have to be creative in your relationship. Like, you can't keep doing the same things over and over again. And, and, and thinking it's going to stay good. That's that's the definition of insanity. Like, there's just, there's just no way. It's like sex. If, you, if the only thing you do is missionary, after a while, it's going to go. And I'm like, okay, this is fucking boring boring like you have to be ingenuity ingenuitive I, and, and you have to have some ingenuity sorry my brain's not functioning right right now you have to have some ingenuity about it like spice things up um i don't know make sure y'all are talking talking date nights, is date nights are important date nights are important we learned since we've been going to terry date nights are important that's the time they really are that's the time we can sit back and reflect we get to talk about oh he is oh, getting he ready is to flicking somebody. somebody somebody is going to change me oh he's coming back this way yeah oh shit. i'm only doing 40 so oh, sorry y'all somebody going to jail I, my bad y'all i get i squirrel like when i see something like that police oh dope boy habits you know anyways um yeah so sometimes you have to learn how to walk away sometimes you have to Sometimes you have to learn to agree to disagree. Relationships are hard, y'all. They're not, it's not easy peasy, not at all. But it's worth it. But it's, it'll be worth it. Like to have, to have someone like Victoria in my corner, like bro, it's, it's priceless. And when I say priceless, I do mean priceless. Like it's. You couldn't pay a million dollars yeah, for it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't. Like she's loyal. She's honest. Like she can't lie for shit. So that's one thing I, <laughs> that's one thing I ain't gotta worry about. Like. She can't lie for shit. I am not a good liar. Yeah, she's she is not she is not a good liar. So um so I don't have to worry about that. She can cook her ass off. She'll fight you like man, woman, child. Not a child unless they're like mouthy or like big or something like that. Like, no, I just I, I threaten kids to take them to their mom. I tell them I'll drag you I'll drag you by your ear to your mom's house. You better stop. But some of like those calls like. Those, those all these are prices like I can't find that like you, you just can't, can't find teamwork like us no either. like I don't I don't go for I'm not one of those I'm not one of them one of these superficial dudes out here like where she's got to have long eyelashes and long luxuri luxurious hair and perfect tits and a brown perfect firm peach ass like everybody says they always have but they really don't they have a fucking gargoyle like shut the fuck up a gargoyle. like seriously. <laughs> For real, man. Like, they side chicks be looking better than their wife. Like, bro, you need to swap that. You need to do a mate swap or something, bro. Anyways, like, those qualities are irreplaceable. That's something I'm just not willing to give up. I, at the end of the day, I'm not willing to give it up. 
early in the afternoon, I'm like, man, fuck that bitch. I'm out of here. Fuck this relationship. I ain't doing shit. I ain't paying no bills. But and then I get to thinking like, well, shit, the cars and cars in our name. There's bills in my name. I better take my black ass back. <laughs> I ain't got nowhere else to go. So, uh... but it's just, it's just, is it worth it to you or not? That's that's what it boils down to. How how bad did you really want it? Damn, that that's the truth. That's what our boys down there. How bad do you really want it? And stop looking, stop going to bar. Uh, like, yeah. I, there we go. guys, you can't keep going after the same type of guys if you know that they're not good for you. If you are going after thugs, you're going to continue getting thugs. Okay. If you're going after college boys and that's not what it is, that's not what you want. Then stop going after college boys. It's that. It's that simple. You have, but you, you can't be a two and expect a 10. Does that make sense? And I'm not talking about in looks. I'm talking about in hustle and heart and love and loyalty and respect and all of those things. If you're a two and you want a 10, it's never going to happen. It's not. Because I have to respect my husband. I talk mad shit to him. And sometimes he probably feels like a little bitch. Because I have a tongue that can be very, very mean. Whether you think so or not. I promise you, I have, I can say some shit that will make you want to drop to your knees and cry. No, I just ignore you now. He, now, but remember, used to, it wasn't like that. No, no used to, like, I want to chop your throat off. Like... You can't come in a relationship and think that you're going to get everything that you want without giving back is what I'm trying to say. Like you have, you have to give as much as you get. I, I mean, Rashad doesn't put me on a pedestal. He doesn't like, we know what it is. We know what it is. We're open and honest always. Like he said, he tells me if he thinks he wants to go fuck somebody else. Okay. I'm not, like, that don't make me mad. It don't make me jealous. It makes me happy that my husband can come to me and say, damn, man, I fucking hated you today. I wanted to go get my dick sucked, but I didn't. He didn't. So, why should I be mad? In my mind, I did. Like, it doesn't matter if it's in your mind. If it didn't really happen, then how could I ever be mad? How could I ever be jealous? I buy those for you? Uh, no. Hey, Jimmy Choo. I don't care if they're Jimmy Choo. They're ugly. I don't like them block heels. If you want to give me some Jimmy Choo's, look on the uh, Jimmy Choo website. Oh, you are on the Jimmy Choo website. Um, that's the one shoe I've been talking about my entire life, and I still don't have a pair. You know they have Jimmy Choo's, they have Jimmy Choo's for men's shoes now? Yeah, I knew that. I think I might give you a pair. But, you guys, oh, back to this, like... You can't, like, I want my husband to be open and honest with me. So when I want him to be open and honest with me, I can't get mad at the shit he's honest with me about. Because he did exact, he was honest with me. And that's all that matters. I can't get mad if he was honest. Never mind. These shits is ugly. <laughs> but... I, I'm never going to get mad at him for, like, he looks at females' butts. That's okay, because I look at them, too. Like, damn, she got a really big one. And I'm not gay, guys. I don't like girls. Like, that will make you bisexual. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, I don't like girls like that. But if she, sure? But if she's got a fat ass, then, hey, she's got a nice ass. Hey, baby, you got a nice ass. I'm happy for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I let people know, like... If you're beautiful, then you're freaking beautiful. Like, you, I tell people all the time, like, oh my God, your eyes are gorgeous. It's not because I'm hitting on them. I, I tell that to guys and girls. I don't care. Like, bro, you have some really pretty eyes. I'm not hitting on them or anything like that. Like, it's nothing sexual or anything. It's literally just me telling someone that, they have a nice feature. That might have made their entire year. You don't know. Car telling you you don't know how to drive. I know it's fine. But you guys, open, open, being open, 
being honest is very important. Very important. But if you're going to be open and honest, don't get mad about it. Traverse. You can't. You can't get mad. If somebody's being honest after you ask them to be honest, you can't get mad at them for that. If you do, all you're doing is pushing them away. That's it. Sometimes the truth hurts, guys. All men and women are going to think about other people. It's the reality. And if you think that's not true, I don't know where the fuck you live at. I don't know where your brain is at. But that's... It, it's life. It happens. That doesn't mean they're leaving. That doesn't mean that they're going to go do that. It just means that they're a human being and they have thoughts too. Let me tell you, if I see a muscular dude with his shirt off, I'm not going to gawk at him. I'm like, damn, okay then. Let me see Tyrese in person. I'll be like, oh, Rashad, you already know what it is. I need to look at him at least 10 minutes and then we're good to go. But I would never touch him because at the end of the day, that would be breaking my vows to my husband. Like, but we can talk about it. Like, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna get mad because he had a thought about somebody. Or he looked at somebody's butt. And guys, I used to be the je the most jealous. Oh my god! I don't do it disrespectfully. No, he doesn't do it like he doesn't do it in an asshole manner or anything. I don't turn around and go like that. Actually, for real though, what we usually do is joke about it. Like, am I being honest though? Mm -hmm. We joke about it, you guys. If you really want to have a good relationship, make jokes out of shit. Have fun. Enjoy each other. Like. This is my best friend. I have two other best friends, but he's my main and number one best friend. I don't, I would never put anybody before him. I wouldn't put family before him. My family wouldn't put me before them. Like, no. He is my everything. You guys have to learn, like, his fan, like, he has a couple people in his family that said that he, I was taking him to hell. He going to hell. <laughs> they said I was dragging him to hell. <coughs> I swear to God. And instead of letting them talk to me like that, he stood up and he said, you want to know what? If you can't accept her, then you don't accept me. If you have family members that are like that to your spouse, that meant more to him, more to me than anything when he stood up and said, you can't accept her then you can't accept me that meant everything to me it did so if you have family that's like that to your spouse stand up for them you are supposed to be there like you're supposed to have their back and if you have, if you don't have their back like that I don't know where your loyalties lie like honestly guys I what was that just okay. kidding Oh, I need to actually order some more mugs. But, um, you guys, I know this was a very long video, but I promise it's worth the watch. It really is. This is, this is literally down to the nitty gritty. It's all honest. It's all real. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, like, shit that we don't do if we don't do it i'm not going to tell you to do it period i'm not that person and you guys i don't categorize don't categorize your husbands don't do it or your boyfriends your spouse your dates whatever don't categorize them don't put them in a whole big pool because that's what you've always been used to don't do that. It's not fair to them. You got to give them a fair shot. Um, you just have to. Are you going and to no, I'm going to downtown. I'm going right up here. Like, this is the way I always take. Because it's super easy. And we don't have to be on the freeway. But, you guys just...
I promise you, relationships are worth it. They are work, but they are worth it. Um, I don't know where I would be without this man. I honestly, I might be dead. If I'm being all the way honest, I might be dead at this point. Like we've built our relationship up and guys in the beginning, it was crazy. We were destructive. We would buy shit and then we would destroy it. Like I bought him Christmas one time and destroyed every fucking piece of it. For what? Well, I just wasted all that money for what? Cause I was mad at him? No. You have to learn to do things different. And just because you're like, if, if you are like that now, that's okay. It's okay to be like that right now. Just grow from it, learn from it. Hello, Chloe. We have learned from our mistakes and we're still learning. You guys, we don't know everything. We're giving you our perspective for relationships. It's our perspective. It might not be yours. Some people would be like, oh my God, you let your husband look at other females' butts? Well, I do it too. Who cares? It's an ass. He ain't touching her. He ain't googly-eyeing her. Some women would be like, oh my God, your husband told you he wanted to go get his dick sucked. Yeah, he did. And I don't care. He didn't do it. So what's the issue? Like, stop making such big deals out of little minute things. Because I'm telling you, we make jokes about it now. We really do. He probably would have never been able to say that five years ago to me, though. I would have probably stabbed him. Like, for real. I had serious trust issues, though. Rashad gained back all his trust with me. Every single, every single ounce. If he leaves the house, I don't think he's going out and doing anything. I'm like, all right, see you. Like, love you. See you later. I've never gone for like two hours before. Right. He's been, he been gone for two hours. But he always comes home. And he's not out doing anything wrong. Like, every morning when he, well, every afternoon when he leaves for DoorDash, he says, all right, I love you, beautiful. Have a great day. I tell him, have a great day, babe. And we go on our separate way. Like, them little things mean more to me now than anything else. You you guys. And I'm not telling you that your relationship is going to be exactly like mine. Because it's not. We're all different. But stop allowing the little shit to control your life so much. You're worth so much more. You really are. And I think I'm going to start doing videos like this more often. If you guys could put down in the comments, like, what you would like to talk about. If you want to know anything about us, our family, our children. Um, if you want to know more about relationship advice. Um, if you want to know more about our relationship and how we've made it work. Um, if you like watching my videos, can you just drop it below so I know, like, I'm trying to see where I'm taking it. Um, I know lately I haven't been doing videos. Uh, we have been crazy working on um, the house, trying to get it remodeled, and it's been insane. Okay. Um, like, we're door dashing today. I don't usually go out with him, but... I went out with him yesterday and I went out with him today. They took videos. Like, because uh, we can sit in the car, we can talk, and we can just enjoy each other's time. And we can still make money. Like, that's his income. He sells shoes and he does DoorDash. Like, I work online. And we make it work. For whatever reason, we really do make it work. Um, I pimp on the side, too. Oh, he pumps on the side, yeah. You guys, if... I, I just want you all to know that you're deserving of everything you ever wanted. Everything that you feel is impossible, it's really not. Everything is literally...
possible. Anything. We never thought we'd be able to buy a new car. We got a repo on our car in 2018, babe, or 17. Two repos. Remember, they was. Oh, like, yeah. Because like, so we traded this Kia in that we had got when we first got out of prison. We traded it in for a 2017 Mazda when we lived in Texas. And they were like, oh, you could just give it back. And we were like, oh, okay. They failed to tell us that we'd have a repo on our record. So we had a repo. Then we lost our jobs. We came back to Ohio. Um, our daughter was attacked by the dog and we lost our car. We couldn't afford to pay for it. So that was two repos. We ended up getting a, we never thought we could ever. So we bought a van off of my grand, my aunt for $500. Rocked that for we, a, we rocked with, we walked, rocked with Big Cliff for way more than eight months. 18 months. Oh, 18 months. I was about to say it was a lot longer than that. Man, we rocked with Cliff. He had a broken window at one point because my uncle was on drugs and busted it out. Like, but we still rocked with him because we didn't think we could get a car. You guys, when I tell you I have two repos on my car or on my credit and um, my credit score was shit. Last year was what, like a 500 when we got to Seoul? My credit, it was, my credit score was between a 500 and a 520. And I walked out with a 2014 Kia Soul. And all I, I didn't put any money down. All I did was trade in our uh, Big Cliff. And I put 750 down in line. Yeah. I put 750 down. And we walked out with a 2014 Kia Soul. We traded that in. Got <clears throat> but hold on. You guys, I wasn't supposed to get that car. We had went to many, many, many car lots. We were told no every single time every single time and then we took the soul in what two weeks ago mm -hmm. roughly and we just walked out with a 2020 kia optima with all, guys almost all the bells and whistles yeah it's got all the bells and whistles almost. pretty much it doesn't have hubcaps it has real i don't know why but this is so important to me i hate hubcaps um I hate hubcaps and this car doesn't have hubcaps it has real what, what are they called rims mm -hmm. alloy wheels alloy, alloy like, wheels alloy whatever wheels. like that was important to me and we we thought it was impossible we didn't think we were going to get the kia soul let alone a freaking 2020 kia optima but we miles. did you guys we had 13 miles on this when we left that lot 13 miles I got cleaning. guys I it it would if you look at our background That's and everything right like that it should have been impossible for us to walk off that lot with that car with this car it should have been impossible but it happened why we had talked for six months like we really need a new car we really need a new car. I'm gonna go up here, babe. Okay. There's no parking right there. Okay. Um, it, it should have been impossible, but it wasn't. Do you wanna know why? It wasn't impossible because we made it possible. Just because you don't think it's possible doesn't mean it's impossible. It's just impossible for you because you can't see it yet. Um, Crystal, if you feel like they're hiding stuff from you in a phone, I dealt with this with Rashad for four years, five years, something like that. And um, it came out that he did have his infidelities. Um, we were open and honest. And honest to God you need to sit him down and you need you need to both have a serious conversation and be like listen i need you to be open and honest i'm not going to be mad because if you get mad it's going to make it so worse and he'll never tell you anything else ever again um and i think that's why rashad can be honest with me now because i stopped getting mad i started just listening and i didn't get mad when he told me shit. now he tells me everything um but you really need to sit him down and say, hey, listen, 
we really need to have a serious conversation. I need you to be very open, very honest. And I think this is what it is. And lay it all out. And if he can't be honest from there, you need to let him know, like, listen, I'm not going to deal with that. I'm not. Um, and if you think that that's okay and I'm going to take it, I'm not. Um, so we need to either be open and honest in this relationship or it's going to have to end. I know I say you need to work for it, but if the other person isn't willing to work for it, guys, that's one thing I do want to say. Like, there's so many odds and different different variations and stuff but at the end of the day if you're willing to work on it but that other person isn't it'll never work um but that's just my thoughts on how to do it i know when me and him went to prison i said listen you got to put everything on the table if you don't put everything on the table right now we won't last we won't make it i said because i'm not ever dealing with this shit ever again in my life and i meant that shit with him i really did I meant it and it changed the game for us. It really did. Um, because now he doesn't, he doesn't lie. He doesn't like, if I wanted to go get in his phone, I could. I don't because I don't really, yeah. ain't, ain't nobody worried about that. You're welcome, love. If you ever need any help, if you ever have questions, anything like I want to help people. I want to help people have happy and healthy lives. Like, it's so worth it. It it really is. And it starts all with you, what you will accept. And it also starts with the other person. If they're not willing, then it's, it's like beating a dead horse. Um, but Rashad... I wasn't willing for the longest, so Rashad stuck it out with me for five years. But I can't sit and tell you, like, that's what'll happen. Because just sit him down and see see what happens. That's all you can do is go from there. Um, but you guys, I know that I've probably made this video way longer than it had to be. But this was on my heart so heavy today. And I don't know who needs it who needed to hear this, who needed that perspective, anything, but I hope it helped someone. Even if it was just one person, I'm glad that I did the video. Um, but I love you guys all so much. I hope you all have an amazing weekend. I'm going to get off here and I'm going to talk with my hubby. Bye y'all.